Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I just threw my bathing suit on. I'm gonna go in the pool with the girls, but I decided I wanna start a new series where every week I'm posting a new diet that I've done. I'm gonna give you guys everything that I'm gonna eat, weigh-ins. This week I'm not doing a weigh-in. I'm gonna do measurements. I'm gonna take my measurements in a minute because I don't have a scale. That could also be my problem. But every time I put my bathing suit on, every week I'm getting more and more unhappy with the way my body is changing. I know being home, normally I'm running around picking kids up, dropping them off, running errands, and I haven't been doing that. So I, I'm noticing a lot of changes in the way things look, especially things that I've worn last year, like the bathing suits that I haven't put on in a while. The diet I decided to start out with is the military diet. I think it's the perfect diet to start out with because you're still getting carbs, you're getting a balance of different food, but it is really calorie restricted. So if you're like me and you've been picking through the day and now you have, your body got used to eating all those times, now you're gonna shrink that appetite down and shrink your stomach a little bit. So once you do like more carb restrictive diets, it's a lot easier because you're not used to taking in all of these calories if you like these kind of videos make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and even if you're not interested in the military diet but you're interested in some other diet comment down below the next diet you'd like to see me do and let's get on with the video now i'm just taking my measurement so my chest is 39 my waist around my belly button so my waist is 30 and then my hip is 39. So 39, 30, 39. So that's what we're starting off with. What before the pandemic, I was like 38, 27, 36, I think. So I've definitely gained a couple inches during this. Here's a grocery haul of everything that you need for the diet. A grapefruit, sliced cheese, hot dogs, two bananas, Greek yogurt. I'm using this to replace the cottage cheese. A package of broccoli, a package of carrots, and a package of green beans. Vanilla ice cream, sliced apples, bread. I ordered the wheat bread but they replaced it or substituted it with this bread but it's not that big of a deal to me and then there's saltines and then i also had some tuna and peanut butter for day one breakfast i have my slice of toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter half a grapefruit and then it's a cup of coffee, but I did put a splash of almond milk in there. You're not supposed to, but I can't drink black coffee. So this is my first breakfast and first meal. Finished with the first meal, and I feel pretty good. I mean, this, the grapefruit was really good. I think the girl picked me a good one. It's lunchtime. I'm honestly starving. Um, normally this would not look as good as it does to me right now. It's one piece of toast, that bread I showed you guys, and then a half a cup of tuna. It equals out to a little less than one can. And then to drink, I couldn't do another cup of coffee, so I have just some ice water and then one of these tea bags in there. I know that says green tea, but I don't have any green tea, so this is going to have to do. I just couldn't do another cup of coffee. It's 3 o'clock and I am starving so far. I mean, it doesn't feel like horrible, but I'm definitely hungry, like hungrier than usual. So I, I wouldn't say it's the most unattainable thing you could do. I'm only on day one. I've only had two meals. But I think like when you first start something, it's always the hardest. So if this is as bad as it gets, it's really not that bad. Um, well, I'm going to have my dinner around like 5, 530. And there is like a good amount of food with it. I don't know if we're, you're able to like have like the meat and vegetables at one time and then wait like an hour or so and then have like the ice cream and, and fruit. But 
I'm gonna go look that up now and we'll see what time I can eat everything or if I have to eat it all in one sitting. But I think that's just better if you can have like, like the meat, vegetables, five-ish, then like 6.30, the ice cream and apples and banana, or half a banana. Um, I don't really like to eat late, so maybe I should just do it all in one shot and then call it a night. And then here is my dinner. It is one cup of green beans and a half a cup of ground beef. I forgot to tell you guys with the ground beef, I just seasoned it with a little bit of garlic and some salt and pepper. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna have the one cup of ice cream and the apple. I put the apple in the microwave for like 30 seconds. So all I have left is half the banana and I'm gonna save that for later. And the last thing I could eat today is half a banana. Now we're ready for day two breakfast. So I'm having my slice of toast, the one egg, and half a banana. And then I have a cup of ice water with one of these tea bags again. It's like 11 o'clock now and I don't want to eat my lunch, but I want something. So I'm going to have the Greek yogurt or this is in place of the cottage cheese. And then for lunch, I can have the saltines and egg. Now I'm having just an egg scrambled up with some salt and pepper on it and five saltine crackers. This is probably my least favorite meal that I've had so far. Okay, so we're at the halfway mark. Day two, done with lunch. And I'm definitely hungrier than I normally am. Um, last night, when I was in bed, like trying to fall asleep, I could feel like how hungry I was. Like I needed something else, but I was able to just fall asleep and forget about it. And when I woke up, I thought I was gonna be starving, but I wasn't. Like when I first got up, I really didn't wanna eat the breakfast. Um, but after an hour of getting up, then I started to get hungry and the breakfast was definitely, it, it didn't feel like it was enough. And now after lunch, I still have like that kind of like hungry feeling where my body is getting adjusted to not eating as much because like I said in the beginning of the video, I am a snacker and I don't eat, I don't think a whole bunch of calories in a day, but I do pick through the day and I eat really bad food. So this is definitely going to be a shock to my system. Not that the food is that healthy, but it's more like whole foods and less packaged stuff like I normally eat. So at this point I could say it's I, it's hard. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's not any harder than any other diet, if you know what I mean. Like you have like that hungry feeling, you're trying to, what I'm doing is telling myself I only have a day and a half left and when I do finish that day and a half, I'm gonna treat myself to whatever I feel like. Right now it's a chipotle burrito bowl, but who knows what it's gonna be in a day and a half. Um, so tonight we have the hot dogs, broccoli, carrots, ice cream, and I think there's something else, apple. And then we have a day tomorrow that doesn't look that easy, but hopefully, I think day two of any diet is the hardest. And then by the third day you're kinda like, not as hungry and used to it, so I think that's why they did that. It's like three o'clock and I'm starving, so I'm gonna have my one cup of ice cream now. And here's my dinner, two hot dogs, one cup of broccoli, and a half a cup of carrots. I really don't like hot dogs that much, but I'll eat them and they have to be like really well done, that's why they're like burned. And my last piece of food for the day is half a banana. I made it to day three and here's my breakfast. It's one slice of cheese, five saltines, and one apple. And then my day three lunch, one egg. You can make it any way. You can do hard boiled, scrambled. I did over medium and then a piece of toast. And then my dinner, it's just one can of tuna with salt and pepper on it. Okay, and my last meal, just the one cup of ice cream and the half a banana. That tuna was so disgusting, dry, uh, that I 
will never ever eat tuna like that again. I had to force myself to eat it. I definitely deserve this. I'm officially done with the military diet and I figured I'd give you a little update. I'll also give you my opinion and we'll take my measurements and see how I did. I think it's really good for someone that needs to be regimented and can't have, well, you can have a protein at this time, a vegetable, and everything is really super structured. The hardest part, I think about it, I don't know why, I think maybe if I broke up the food a little bit and like stretched it out like, an apple and then waited an hour later and then had crackers and then an hour later and had cheese. I think it would have been a little bit easier, but eating all of that stuff at one sitting, I was hungrier earlier and I felt hungry through most of the day. So through this whole diet, I probably, there was a very small percentage of time where I was full or I didn't feel hungry. Uh, second day, the hunger pains were probably the worst. Um, I think the second day with any diet I've done is always like, I know if I push through that second day, it's going to get easier on the third day. And the third day I was able to do 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. So I walked two miles and then I also swam like 10 or 15 laps in the pool. So I was starting to be able to do that again. Whereas the first two days, I didn't even want to think about working out. I was just trying to stay focused on not eating anything other than what I was allowed to. I think it's a, it's a hard diet for people that can't have that much structure. So they need to feel like they have a little bit more freedom. It's not going to be the diet for you. If, if hunger pains is, I know everybody has a different pain tolerance. If being super hungry is something that you don't want to live with, then it's not the diet for you because I don't know what it is. These combinations of food, I really, I'm not a hungry person. It is, um, I am like in that week of the month where I'm really hormonal and I'm hungrier than usual, but I'm really not like a super hungry person where I need to eat like three meals a day. But with these three meals, I really, really did not feel fulfilled. I, I think maybe one or two times I was like, okay, well, I'm not hungry anymore, but most of the days I was really hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm wearing the same exact bathing suit that, I wore one of the first of my measurements just to give it, you know, so more accuracy and you guys could see if there's a difference or not. So we're gonna take my measurements now. 37 and a half. So I lost like an inch and a half in my chest. Like a little under, I'm at like 28, so a little over 28. So. And then in my hips, I'm a 38. Okay, so I lost almost two full inches in my bust, so I'm like a 37 now where I was a 39 before and my waist I am like 28 and like that much so like a fourth so I lost almost an inch in my waist and then in my hips I think it said I was a 37 so I lost I don't even remember what my hips said So, and th I'm 38 in my hips, so I lost one, two, I lost almost four inches in three days from this. Um, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.